camera cut out. But this woman ain't nothing but a voodoo uh, a priestess. She's surrounded by the devil, the knight of wands in the reverse, and the, uh, the moon. This is someone that does rituals and don't know when to stop doing the rituals. This is someone that's committed to darkness, toxicity, been this way her whole life, publicly presents herself to be someone modest, down to earth, good mother, good wife, nothing, in, not any of those things. Someone is dark, period. Dark. That's all she knows is darkness. That's all she knows is darkness. Okay? That's all she knows. Don't know nothing else but darkness. How to do rituals and block other people's fulfillment. Block other people's life. Has had it out for an empress the whole time. And now she's worried behind the scenes. What's, a, what's up ahead of me? What's going to happen? Now that the wealthy man is gone, what's going to happen? Am I going to be facing a lawsuit? Yes, you are. Because you committed, what? To causing hindrances, what? To someone's life. You were committed to the rituals, the spell works, the lies, the deceit. You were committed. So yes, you will be getting sued. Someone has proof of what you've been doing. You will be getting sued, dear. You will be getting sued. This is so ridiculous. I'm telling you. you jail? Oh, Someone passed away in your family. And they're looking into how that person passed away. Tower. They're looking into it because it ain't making sense. Did he pass away from voodoo? Look, 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 look. Did he pass away from voodoo? Yes. She was doing witchcraft behind the scenes. Been with that man her whole life or however long for money. They ain't love him no bit. But when you saw her publicly, she acted like they were the ideal couple. She was so in love with him. Yeah, she was in love with his money. Okay, Queen of Wands reversed. There you go, coming out again. Honey, every time you come out, the cards expose who you are or you just come out in the reverse. You have uh, legal issues coming in. You are going to jail. If you didn't know that, now you know uh, where you're going, where your final destination is. And you're also bothered. In your mind, intimidated as heck, you are in some type of mental imprisonment because you don't want people to know what it is you've been doing behind the scenes. Girl, you got to be a special kind of dumb. If you think by this time, people do not know what it is that you've been doing. People know the truth, that you're childish and immature as heck. You are childish and immature as heck. What you're worried about is someone receiving communications about what you've been doing behind the scenes or someone receiving what a love offer. You are terrified. You say, I don't done all this voodoo tick, ticking all this reckless action to make sure someone does not connect with another person. And you're telling me that they're still going to be recovering and they're still out here. You, they're not bothered by everything I've been doing. You're childish as heck. That's why you don't know that someone is not bothered. You're out here talking about something work. Oh my gosh, it worked. He's, he's not happy anymore. He's in some type of mental imprisonment. He's uh, not feeling like going on anymore. He he has anxiety. Nah, someone is out here. Okay. You're the one that's bothered because things didn't go your way. You're upset because the truth is out. You're under judgment. Are you the one being hunted by someone's ancestors? You're having nightmares and all kinds of stuff. Yes, you are. These two people are still coming together to have a new beginning and will be victorious. This is a prophecy that has been fulfilled and it has you weighed down. Burden. Out here trying to orchestrate someone's demise. You may want to set your raggedy behind down because you got problems coming in. You got problems coming in and they're coming in quickly. Whoever is coming to connect with, with the woman you're trying to block, they're coming in quickly and you won't even know when they're taking action to do it. You're dumb as heck. You're out here trapped in your mind because you're receiving news that someone is coming out of the cold. They're not living in poverty. Someone is not crying. Someone is not stuck in their mind. Someone is content within life and they still have options. And you were hoping that they wouldn't know they had options and things like that. You wanted them, wanted them living in fear and things like that. No, honey, they're not living in fear. They got options. There's a lot of prophecies coming through. 
People are going through endings. People are burdened behind the scenes, especially your wife energy, queen of pentacles. A sister told she was invincible, Take, was just out here taking reckless energy, may have even hired a, a king of wands to do someone something. This is what he was there for. He was hired to cause a lot of illusions, take reckless actions, was supposed to come in or give you some type of offer so you two could have some type of new beginning together, right? Take a new path together. Because this person, what? Has lost their abundance. They've lost their abundance. Don't got nothing to offer. Nothing but the D. And don't nobody want the D that's in the upright. Nobody wants the D. Whoever he's going through, he sees as wish fulfillment, but he's disappointed because they don't want him. Why? Because they see the truth. Someone has foresight of everything he's been doing behind the scenes. And he thought he was going to come in to sneak you and you wouldn't see what it is he was doing talking about i now know that you are my twin flame we have a higher level uh, a commit commitment together excuse me we have a contract together and i just want you to know that i've been putting in the work to heal whole time it's a bull-faced lie he's coming towards you because he knows you have abundance coming in you are self-sufficient independent supported by the universe and they're blessing you stupendously and this is your karma in life to grow and exceed go through a rebirth get married be sturdy in life financially stable you may be getting married to a queen king of pentacles you never met this person but they've chosen you to build a family with to invest in and it has these people burning you ain't never met your soulmate before never met your soulmate this king of wands coming towards you whatever opportunity he's coming in to give you is a bull-faced lie He's trying to block you before you can get this love offer and be victorious in life this is his uh, attempt to block your good karma to block things from being balanced out to cause another stalemate and he's going to have to move on they're all going through conflict behind the scenes you don't got nothing to do with these people they, they, they may even need your help want your help you can't help these people do not offer your help to these people they may even want to come in and give you something don't touch it i'm telling you they want to give you some type of gift money something i want to say pick your uh, pick whatever you want what would you like us to give you? Nothing. Because there's something that they're, they're coming towards you with that's cursed. Stand in your truth. You standing and living in your truth is what's leading to disappointments for these people. And this is the uh, uh, justice that you need. This is judgment in this situation. All your ancestors are requiring of you is to live authentically as yourself. Live authentically as yourself. You got a knight of wand that may want to may want to come towards you to tell you the truth. This could be someone's brother. May want to express some type of love to you. Tell you he want to balance things out. He's healed now. He wants to be committed to you. This is someone that's part of this community. Coming from this community, you don't got no type of contract with this person. They're all going through endings, so they're all trying to find a way on how what you can choose them to build with them because you bring more to the table than they do. These are all warlocks. And uh, uh, dark priestesses is how they call themselves. But most of them don't even got no gifts. They got to go to other practitioners to do their work. That's how gifted they are. Missing with a B. Yes, it's all an illusion. They don't have any gifts. And this cycle of illusions is over. It's over. It's over. You have your new beginning. You're free to be hopeful. You're free to be you. You're free to live authentically. You're free to do your work, live in your purpose, choose whatever it is you want to do in life. The universe will always support you. You can always change your path at any time. And this is what has led to a defeat. This knight of pentacles that wanted to come towards you, he can't. Got some type of healing to do. Plenty on how to what communicate with you. He wants to communicate with you. You don't need to talk to any of these people. You don't got a goddamn thing to say or hear from them. They want to apologize. Tell them to forgive themselves from a distance. You don't need to be around these people. There's a queen of swords in here as well. Ulterior motive. Still doing rituals behind the scenes. May want to take some type of reckless action to come towards you. She's under judgment. Take that action and see what happens. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You're under some type of illusion that this cycle is not over. There you go. I'm telling you, enter rituals, coming up with options on how she can take action, right? To interfere with these two people coming together. And it's not a victory for her. I was trying to pick this car up in the upright and it flipped over. It's not a victory for you, darling. Move on. 
You don't have no uh, protection from the universe. You don't have no security clearance to do anything that you are planning to do or anything that you've been doing. And that king of wands that they hired to come in and give someone an offer, you are rejected. Nobody wants you. Take you, your good looks, and your insecurities elsewhere. No one wants to be with you. This is all he cares about, how big his stuff is and what he can do with it, by the way, is what I'm hearing. And this is still me because you don't give two fucks. Excuse my language. Y'all know I don't curse often on this channel, but sometimes it comes out. I didn't grow up in a household where we curse a lot, but you know, you get out into the world, you experience certain things, and then you just develop certain vocabularies. But I do my best not to curse because I tell my kids that it's not very uh, dignifying to be cursing and stuff like that. And my mom didn't curse around us either. Uh, sometimes she, you know, lost her temper, but that's every household. I lose my temper with my kids sometimes. They just sit and look at me like, okay, she'll get over this one. Because my kids are very well behaved. So when they do things, I know it's like they're having a moment. Very respectful kids. But honey, sometimes as a parent, you just be having a moment and you just be, you know, yeah, sometimes I lose it. But that's every parent. Anyways, everybody is living in fear. It's like everything these people plan before it happens, you already know it. So they got to keep scratching things off. Going back to the drawing boards that, okay, well, we can't send this person towards him. We can't send this person towards her. It's getting frustrating is what I'm hearing. And someone is pissed off behind the scenes. They said, no one should have this amount of clarity. No one should be able to see this well. Because even them, what they can see is limited. The ones that are gifted in this community, their access to the spirit realm is limited. But you, the one they're coming after, it's unlimited because you are pure hearted. You are healed far beyond their reach. So it's that like you see crystal clear, extremely gifted. So it's that like before they even planned to do something, it's already revealed to you. And you're just sitting back and waiting for someone to take action to come towards you. And you say, really? We're still doing this nonsense? Like you are still having let go yet and you're not trying to embark on your healing journey and do something better for yourself? You're still out here trying to uh, protect some type of delusional uh, money that's not there. Some type of ten of pentacles that's never going to be given to you. They tried to get someone to marry an imbalanced creature, an unhinged creature. And that was supposed to work, secure her destiny. And she was going to be sharing the destiny with them. That ain't how it worked. Nobody cares who she marries. Whether she marries a high priestess or a divine feminist masculine. Like she takes a masculine from a divine feminine and marries them. She ain't getting that abundance. It's not for her. Why? She hasn't done the work and she's too not part of a lineage. So those blessings are not destined for her. It's delusional. The, he the heck you're talking about? Whatever is meant for that divine feminine, divine masculine, it is protected. She cannot have it, never will have it. So she can keep planning to take these reckless actions to come and give a piece of her mind to someone. You're wasting your time. You're still not getting the abundance. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. You're still not getting the abundance and you're all out here worried because someone is still going to be receiving opportunities. They still got options. They're not trapped. You're trapped. That's the problem. That's why they're, they're, they're bothered. It's that we've done all of this to block someone. We've done all of this to block your options, isolate you. How do you still have offers coming in? Because the most high deemed is so. And this person is you. Like, it don't matter. And this is what I don't get. These kinds of energy, it don't matter who you go to to deceive, who you lie to, who you don't lie to. How many people you get on the bandwagon to jump from the hot pot into the fire. Nobody cares. What matters is what the most high decides. So you can do whatever you want. Destiny is always going to play out. Destiny is always going to play out. I'm telling you, destiny is always going to play out. And that's what people don't see. That it's always secure. People, people are always free to manifest what it is that has been promised to them as long as they're living in the right energy. So this person's ancestors are, being, uh, are protecting their investments, their manifestations and things like that. There could be someone in the court case, in the court system that's protecting this person's uh, abundance as well. Their payout, whatever this is. So it don't matter what you do to cause someone else's burden to weigh them down. 
Have them feeling rejected. They're talking about they don't deserve to live a good life. They don't deserve to be happy. We don't want them reproducing any more uh, uh, children like them. We don't want these two coming together to have a baby because the baby is going to be extremely powerful and dangerous. That's not for you to decide. The Most High decides that you didn't create this planet. You didn't create the universe. You are of the universe, but you are not the universe. Thank you. You're supposed to be here to master yourself, not be out here being delusional. Can you at least make a little effort to remove a bit of the veil so you can see straight? You're so comfortable in darkness. It's alarming. It's a whole lot of phone calls and text messages going on behind the scenes. Did you hear this is going on? Did you hear he did this? Did you hear she did that? Mm, I don't want to be part of that anymore. I'm moving on with my life. Now you're moving on? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe she did all of that. I didn't know all of that was going on. I didn't know she took all that action to hire a whole king of, uh, king of swords, a whole police officer. She hired a practitioner as well. Been communicating with people in the justice system, all kinds of stuff, telling them lies to block someone's abundance. I didn't know she was doing all of that. I didn't know he was doing all of that. You didn't know? Oh, okay. Internal investigation is what I just heard. There's an internal investigation going going on. Oh, yeah, this union, this prophecy will be fulfilled. It is fulfilled. You're wasting your time. Look at that. This woman got options coming in, offers and everything, and she will be uh, secure in life. All the illusions you've been causing by someone in high honor, they're all dismantled. The whole group is trapped you got problems coming in. You can't go nowhere because those investigators, they got, they got questions and you better have the answers they're looking for. It's a whole investigation going on. And then there's a woman of high honor that's been col uh, collaborating with other people behind the scenes, coming up with plans on how to get someone out of their temperance energy, how to temper with someone's life. They said, oh, if we make sure he doesn't see her in a good energy, in a good light, if we make sure they don't have any money, they don't have any resources, he's going to reject her because she don't bring nothing to the table. That man don't care about any of that. That man don't care about any of that. So he's still going to communicate, which is leading to your defeat because whoever you're trying to defeat is still getting their ace of pentacles offer. <laughs> this will be a king of cups. You all have been trying to defeat. Plotting on this man and everything. He's still receiving his blessings in life. If you didn't know that, you should now. He's still receiving his blessings in life. He's still set to be successful in life. Business savvy. Someone's going to be like a business mogul. But very down to earth. Very humble. Someone is self-actualizing now. And I'm telling you, he may be single now. Maybe he was in a relationship and he has gotten out of that. But he will have wish fulfillment. Someone is committal. And he's becoming the emperor in his life. There's another, another emperor going through disappointments in life because of what he committed himself to. Took some type of reckless and impulsive action without knowing the full scope of what was going on. That should let you know you got some healing to do. He didn't know what was really going on. He didn't know the full truth. This is why it's important to self-actualize. Think about stuff before you partake. Master yourself before you try to hinder other people's mastery. Talking about, I should have known better than this. I should have never gotten involved in this. You're damn skippy. You should have never gotten involved in it. Now you're out here going through laws, financial laws, relationships, and everything, friendships. Because you took an impulsive action against an innocent person. Because you were promised some type of good karma. They said you were going to get something good out of it. But they didn't tell you what happens if the if the plan does not go accordingly. They didn't tell you, did they? You come after a, a star seed and they didn't tell you what would happen if things don't work out, did they? This is what happens. When you come after a star seed and things don't go according to plan, you lose a lot. And that's justice. What you try to take from that person is what you lose. You say you don't want them having a, a roof over their head, you lose your home. You don't want them. This was coming in the reverse. Look at that. This is a queen of wands with the lovers in the reverse beneath her. 
So someone is not even an option for who they're trying to trap. He don't want to be committed to her. It's the three, three of pentacles followed by the lovers in reverse. He does not want a commitment with this woman. Does not want to be committed to her. Does not hold her in high regards. She's not a choice. She's not even on the menu. It's what I'm hearing. But this whole time, her just tore them. Yeah, she's not on the menu. He's like, like stand, get the heck away from me. And the fact that he actually even knows now what she's been doing behind the scenes. Oh, baby, he don't want to even see this woman breathe the same air as her. He said, get away from me. This is what she didn't know. She's not an option for this person. She's not an option. She's not an option. And there's an emperor. There's something where he's seeing the truth now. And he understands and has clarity and is causing a tower because he's choosing to balance something out. He's supporting an empress. He said, why is he being loyal to her? We're your family. You should be loyal to us. And he said, nah, right is right, wrong is wrong. Or maybe I've lost too much in this situation. I need to balance it out. It's a, this queen of wands, honey, every time you come out in my readings, I just get frustrated because that's how you are behind the scenes. You are just frustrated. You've done everything to, to, to compromise another woman, to destroy another woman, slander another woman, lie everything, try to trap another woman. And then none of it leads to nothing but disappointment and you being looked at as the idiot and unhinged creature that you are. That's how people see you. Unbearable is what I just heard. You are unbearable. So you could be trying to force yourself on a masculine Hovering over him, you're overbearing, calling him 10,000 times a day, texting him 10,000 times a day. A, a brother is about to ghost you, or he probably already did. He said, mm, I can't. You're extremely toxic and karmic, and he's getting away from you, is what I'm hearing. He said he's working. He don't care how hard he got to work, how hard it is, how long it takes, he's getting away from you. He probably already left you, because he sees you exactly for who you are. I'm telling you. Oh, my Lord. These people are good. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. You got two high priestesses out here. One has been working to block uh, another person's destiny because she wants to have that destiny. She says no one should be that fulfilled in life. No, no one should have all that in life. You have the love, the business, the success, the success, the empire, manifesting a new reality, new beginning, fulfillment, investing, and things like that, being supported by the spirit realm. She said no one should have all of that. So she's been planning on how to end someone's stand of pentacles. And she's impulsive as heck. So a, a high priestess is intimidated by another high priestess. She thought she was all that in a bag of chips. And you know, as genuine high priestesses, this is not why we have our gift. So that people can see us as the big bad wolf or the most talented or the most skilled. Who has time for all that nonsense? So she's been out here plotting someone else's ending. And then you have another one. I'm picking up on three. There's a high priestess that's ending a family for misleading her. She didn't know what it is that they were getting her up to. Apparently. That's, what, that's her story and apparently she's sticking to it. Okay. And then you have another high priestess that's being seen as the truth. Someone's being genuine. Someone is gifted. Someone is talented. Someone does have spiritual gifts and things like that. But people have been out here lying and saying that they don't, that person don't got no spiritual gift. That person is lying. They're pretending. They don't deserve to be on that spiritual throne. The whole time the ancestors are like, uh, yeah, they are. They've invested a lot into what it is they are what manifesting in this reality. And that's why we've given them this spiritual throne and it is secure. That's why you can't destroy it because we support it. Why are there, why are there practitioners out here involving themselves in something this low vibrational? Why can't pra practitioners support each other from behind the scenes? Why is it that if we are gifted and intuitive and people come to us to ask for readings that don't have nothing to do with them, why don't we just tell them, I'm going to look into you, whatever you want me to do, it needs to be about you. If they come to you about another high priestess, why don't you 
work against the person that's coming to you about that high priestess. Tell them, oh, I want you to block this high priestess future. Block their future so they can know what it feels like. Put their future on hold for a year or two years. So that when they come out of that cycle, they'll never want to wish that on another person again. Why don't, why don't high priestesses think like this? Someone comes to you and tells you, block this person's destiny. Block their destiny. Because... Because how dare you come to me thinking that like I want to be part of this nonsense. But if someone is coming towards you with that, then that means that that's something you're okay with doing. And now you don't block your own destiny trying to block another woman's destiny, another man's destiny. Shoot. I'm telling you. She, she's finding out she invested in the wrong thing or she was misled or whatever she's saying. So now she's... Ending her relationship with them, her business relationship with them. She don't want to be associated with them anymore. She don't want to be associated with them anymore. But the thing is, why did you associate with them in the first place when you knew what they were asking you to do was not in the upright? It brought nothing but conflict to you. Because you said someone is too strong. And their strength is causing a lot of disappointment for you. So now you got to move on. And you're moving on quickly. I don't know if you're moving to another town, another city. You know karma don't miss a beat. You know very well it don't miss a beat. So now you may want to come in and talk to a queen of cups or something. That woman don't want to hear from you. Maybe help, maybe help from a distance. Don't come towards this woman. She don't got nothing to say to you. Maybe you're wanting to apologize to a high priestess. They don't got nothing to say to you. That woman probably don't even know you. But you've been out here invested with a whole family to destroy someone's life, someone's legacy. Yeah, you want to communicate about a plan by a queen of source against a what? A star seed on how they were going to trap her and uh, hold on to her abundance, her future, block her joy, cause towers in her life when it comes to her finances and have her trapped in some type of karmic relationship. She knows, obviously, if you are a high priestess, She's a high priestess or he's a high priestess. He knows. Why, why don't high priestesses, like, why don't some practitioners help each other silently? Like, there needs to be, like, some type of cold oath of silence. Like, uh, 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 an idiot comes towards you. Someone mentally unstable comes towards you. Someone dark comes towards you to ask you to do something to your fellow high priestess. Send that energy to the idiot that's coming towards you. I promise you, after they come out of that karmic cycle, they'll never do it again. They'll never do it again. Before they go to another practitioner and ask for endings in someone's life, they'll think twice. They say, mm, the last time I went and did this, I ended up in a cycle where I lost my job. I lost my partner. My kid got sick. My dog died. I was out homeless. I don't think I want to do this again. No, 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 no. I'm just coming out of this crazy cycle. I don't want to go back into it. They'll never do it again. I promise you. They'll never do it again. Oh, yeah. They'll think twice before they ever pay to interfere with karma and to cause burdens on other people that ain't paying them no mind. They will think twice because they'll remember what happened the last time they did it. It's like a automatic and, temp and permanent time out for them when it comes to investing in dark work talking about i don't want them to fall in love i need you to block that i don't want them to be successful in business i need you to block that i need you to block everything and she went along with it she was trying to prove her magic and the magic ain't even working it ain't working Talking about, I've done this before. I don't know why it's not working. You sure about that, darling? You don't know why it's working? Did the spirit realm not communicate with you and tell you, hey, this is a bad decision. Don't partake in it. It's right here. They told you this was a bad decision. They said, hey, don't collaborate with these people. It's not going to go uh, in the right direction. It's not going to work out. They told you the spirit realm communicated with you. And told you, do not collaborate with these people. It's going to lead to nothing but endings. 
and you still went along with it. Now it on backfire and you're out here working against the family or the couple that hired you. Why, ma'am? Why, 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 brother? You knew what well, you knew the consequences. You knew the consequences. People don't be thinking their actions, they're taking, they don't think. People make you false promises. It's like the it's like the people making deals with these people. And like if you work with us, if you uh, contribute to our mission and we take down this star work, this star sea, this earth angel, I promise you, you're going to be very abundant. You're going to have a 10 of pentacles lifestyle. No, you ain't. What it didn't tell you is if you don't succeed, you go from the 10 of pentacles or whatever pentacles you're in to the five of pentacles. You lose everything. And now you're in the eight of swords trapped in your mind. Trying to figure out how to balance things in your life, but you can't because you're in a karmic cycle. You're stuck in a karmic cycle until you pay back your debt, your dues. No one can escape karma. Not even the high priestesses are doing the work. Not even the star seeds. We've all gone through it. No one can escape karma. Tell me you're trying to block someone's destiny. Who told you you have the authority to block someone else's destiny? Who told you that? We got the egg. The egg is a positive omen. When you see this, it, it means that you know your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations, everything you've been working for, they're coming into fruition. They're about to hatch. So everything you invested in, you've uh, you sold your seeds. Yeah, you sold your seeds, and now you're about to reap your harvest, and you're going to be very successful. Okay? Dang. We got two. It's the number of manifestations successfully coming together with another party, whether in business or in romance, the, the uh, a, a number of union, okay, love and things like that. You have great talent for, friend, for, for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others toward, towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. And something I'm hearing too, because honey, I do have a petty side and I am going to say it. These kind of people, when they're coming up against you, trying to destroy your life, all diplomacy go out the door. But once something backfires and is the, like the, the, their life are in chaos, that's when they want to come towards you and say that you need to be practical. You need to be diplomatic. They need you to understand this. They need you to see things this way. They want you to see things from their perspective. Nobody cares about any of that. Your karma are due. Diplomatically, your karma are, karmas are due. Six, six. <clears throat> The number six is the number of moving on, healing, ascension, okay? Um, and then it sums down to three, celebration, family, things like that. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. Exactly. Yeah, we love you, but you're still going through your karma. Being too busy. Make time to rest, relax, and nurture yourself. Give yourself a break, okay? Because I've been seeing this a lot, and I'm gonna put myself in here too. I do little, uh, do overwork myself. Like I have a whole nine to five, and then I do this, and I'm doing school, got kids, and stuff. it's like, come on, like one person. But I'll find some type of medium and start resting a little more. Anyways. Thank you so much, so much for watching. Stay blacks. Huh? Stay blacks. Where is blacks? Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.